Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. I got a request in the Hexagon forum on how to create a worn, irregular looking cobblestone pathway. And that's a pretty simple one, so here you go. I'm going to start off in the 3D Primitives tab, click on Grid. I'm just going to create one grid, click, and I'm going to create 20 by 20. I'm going to validate that. And to make them all the same size, I'm going to type in 130 and 130 both, 130 in the X and the Z, click OK. And under position, I'm going to zero out the X and the Z so it's in the center of my scene. Click on Faces, Control A to select all of that come over here and click on my extract around tool now I've got to there it is oh wait a minute click on my edge click on edges select all and my extract around tool and I'm just gonna dial in and a small inner radius just like that I'm gonna zoom out a little bit I'm going to take my y-axis arrow and I'm just going to drag it straight down and now we've got a bunch of little cobblestones. Well, with that selection still enabled, I'm going to hit F, which will convert that selection to faces. Now all of those polygons except the very top are selected, which is what I want, so I'm going to hide those. Come up here to select edges, select all those edges and I want to use the bevel tool. I want to add a bevel to all of them and let's try point 0.5 and I think that will work. I'm only going to do a range of two because this as simple as it is it's going to get uh, pretty polygon intensive and already we're at 8400 polygons which when you consider that this is just a little piece of a cobblestone pathway that's that's a lot well I'm gonna continue on I'm gonna select just one of these top faces of the polygon don't need dynamic geometry I'm gonna click on soft selection I wanna make sure all of the points on this particular piece of cobblestone get selected I don't want any other ones to become selected. So a radius of three is good. What I don't want is something like this where any of the other cobblestones are also soft selected. So I'm going to click on a radius of three and that looks good. I'm going to zoom out. What I want to do is just create, uh, click on and select a random distribution of some of these top faces of some of these poly, uh, some of these cobblestones here. Okay, that looks good. And I'm just gonna swing around, get a side view, and I'm just gonna raise them up just a little bit. They don't need to be much in order to create a nice random look. And I'm gonna do this again with some more selections. And I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done with that. I created several selections, raised them up. Some of them I I uh, moved them up on the y-axis, other ones I move down on the y-axis. I just wanted to create a, a random look there. Well, I'm going to come back and now I'm going to create a few more selections. But this time I'm going to increase the radius of the soft selection. We'll go with that, and I'm going to raise those up just a little, just slightly. Now I'll increase that radius, and I'll bring it down. And so let's click off of that, and you see we've got a lot, a lot of randomness look, look to this, and I'll. Try this again. And let's 
bring oh let's bring that down there we go okay I'm gonna stop here you certainly get the general idea of what it is I'm trying to do the longer you play with it naturally the uh, better results that you will um, achieve by it this one looks to be a little high and so I'll just drop that down a little bit okay I'm gonna come back call this cobblestones I'm gonna come back to 3d primitives click on my grid and I'm just gonna create one cell in the U and the V and I will make it symmetrical so 30 30 and I'm gonna zero this out in the X and the Z and I'm just gonna make it approximately the same size as my cobblestones click on my cobblestones and let's give this a oh let's give it a dark brown color and I'll leave this as say uh, mortar or it can be dirt or whatever you want and when you put it down in here you will it will give the impression of uneven cobblestones in your uh, on your road with dirt patches of dirt poking up uh, on top and how you adjust it depends upon how much dirt that you want in your image now granted this is very low polygon this this whole model but we're already at 8400 polygons and it looks okay certainly the more polygons you have the more you can play with the surfaces of these cobblestones and ultimately the better it will look but for the purposes of this little demonstration I decided to keep it low polygon and only 20 by 20 certainly I would uh, I would definitely create more cobblestones and maybe even um, add more edges on these bevels and play around with them a little bit more to give uh, um, more irregular shape just click on a side bring one edge up bring one edge down that sort of thing just to create a nice random looking well-worn um, pattern in your um, in your cobblestone road so this is creating a cobblestone pathway or it can be a cobblestone road right here in hexagon for all of your view renders so that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching here at Kika Play Studios my name is Gary Miller have a good day